This echo study belongs to a patient with dyspnea on exertion. This four chamber view demonstrates a severe right ventricular RV enlargement. RV enlargement typically raises suspicion for shunts such as atrial septal defect ASD. And contrast study shows the passage of contrast bubbles from the right heart to the left heart, indicating the presence of a shunt. Although transesophageal echocardiography showed a small patent foramen oval. However, this RV inflow view reveals significant tricuspid valve disease. Severe tricuspid regurgitation TR in a patient without other cardiac abnormalities may suggest infective endocarditis. But there is neither evidence of vegetation, nor is there a history of intravenous drug abuse. The severe TR in this patient is due to significant blunt trauma he had experienced several years ago while working in a factory. Let's delve into the transesophageal echocardiographic views. This T view shows a flail anterior tricuspid valve TV leaflet. Beyond chest trauma such as from accidents, sport or occupational injuries can cause rupture of the tricuspid valve cordae, papillary muscles or leaflet evulsion, often affecting the anterior TV leaflet. Color Doppler demonstrates a wide tricuspid regurgitation jet. The TR jet may be directed posteriorly or centrally depending on the damaged leaflet. Sudden deceleration leads to an abrupt RV pressure rise during end diastole or early systole, a situation that is intolerable for tricuspid valve apparatus. As this view shows, the anterior tricuspid valve leaflet is flail. However, acute post-traumatic tricuspid regurgitation is often overshadowed by a concomitant injuries, leading to delay presentation with RV failure symptoms. Severe TR leads to chronic RV volume overload, progressive RV dilation, atrial fibrillation, and eventually RV failure. This is a 3D view of the tricuspid valve from right atrium. 3D echo is particularly helpful in distinguishing traumatic leaflet evulsion from other causes such as infective endocarditis. In conclusion, traumatic severe TR may develop after significant chest trauma or multiple injuries, but its clinical consequences can appear years later. Often patients may not connect these late onset symptoms to the initial trauma.